here are the five best decks right now in Clash Royale. Before we get into this video, I quickly would like to ask one thing, and it's just to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 5,000, trying to hit 5,000 before the end of the summer. 99% of people that watch don't subscribe, so to the 1%, I really appreciate you. To the others, just give me a chance. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Let's go ahead and get back into those top five decks. The first four decks have champions in them, but I put one deck at the end without a champion. But with the first deck, we've got E-Giant. E-Giant, really strong right now. I needed to have a couple low skill decks in this video because I know some of you guys suck at the game like me and you need low skill decks to win. So, you know, here we go. We got E-Giant with the Golden Knight. We got Lightning, Tornado. I mean, a lot of you guys know how E-Giant works. Golden Knight, Ability, push the E-Giant, make it faster. Lightning to destroy the buildings in the way or any troops. Tornado to tornado troops into the E-Giant so the E-Giant can shock them and kill them with for like an Inferno Dragon. Pretty much make it useless against the E-Giant. You've got the Phoenix as good support behind the E-Giant as well as just a really good card overall. Good on defense, good on offense. The Bomber, amazing on defense. The Bar Barrel, in my opinion, better than the Log in a lot of scenarios. The Cannon, which I would pretty much always argue as a top card in the game really strong in every scenario like on defense you've got the phoenix you've got the golden knight you've got e-giant on defense sometimes as well lightning can be really good on defense tornado in my opinion like the best card in the game i mean yeah oh, come on all this I, this is just an insanely strong deck in every way i don't know what else to say my next deck is what i have hated playing against a lot recently which is this graveyard deck with goblin hut rascals the skeleton king as well as poison just being extremely strong right now like this deck has just been insane like it is so hard to stop you've got an amazing defense with the goblin hut phoenix the rascals the goblins are op and then the graveyard has just always been op there's just no stopping graveyard it always gets a hit um, as well as pairing that up with skeleton king just makes skeleton king super op it almost always has a max ability ready with this goblin hut this graveyard these goblins these rascals there's always something feeding the skeleton king so you can use that ability all the time offensively it's just really easy to overwhelm your opponents you got that phoenix that a lot of the time dies early but they aren't able to kill the egg so it will respawn a lot of the time because they've got to worry about that skeleton king skeleton king ability maybe just random goblins on the opposite lane and then you've got the graveyard that just destroys towers poisoning everything making like unstoppable pushes with this deck and then the spear goblins chip damage is absolutely op with the goblin hut the goblin hut is really strong right now which i didn't think i would say like i, I said like a year ago i did not think i would ever be saying this but the spear goblin hut is insanely strong next up we got in my opinion maybe the best deck right now is the hog rider mortar control deck with the mighty miner and the musketeer you've got the goblins once again insanely strong poison insanely strong ice spirit cycle really strong as well the snowball is really insane the mortar is just always been one of the best cards in the game in my opinion at least it's really good on defense and offense and then the mighty miner i mean come on dude the mighty miner is insane dude this the mighty miner ability has always been insane the fact that mighty miner's four elixir still to me is pretty criminal um it, it it's unbelievably good shreds down on defense shreds on offense the ability the bomb kills troops musketeer just so much dps dude like the musketeer is insane um the fact that musketeer doesn't die to fireball is insane i i really don't like this deck all around you've got hog rider to pressure you've got mortar to put pressure on mighty miner goblins is really good for pressure then the snowball and the poison is an insane combo to help you out on getting damage on towers with the hog rider defense is absolutely perfect with the mortar with the mighty miner with the musketeer with the goblin poison for any graveyards like i mean dude this deck is just perfect i love this deck so much in my opinion this is the highest skill gap deck in this video so if you are if you consider yourself a good player and you really really want to push very high and i mean like you know top 5k plus global i think this is the best deck to go for right now it is just really really good overall against anything but it's good next up one of my favorite decks i love using this deck it's royal hogs with the earthquake this deck was really strong a while ago maybe a year ago maybe i don't remember it's been a while uh since i remember using this deck instead it had skeletons instead of the goblins but now goblins are just insane so goblins go in this deck and yeah archer queen's really strong you got the cannon 
I've been preaching this since I started this channel. Royal Delivery, criminally underrated. You got the log, you got the earthquake. You're always gonna get damage with with hogs. You've got split lane, you got the three one split, you got the two two split, you've got four down one lane, depending on what they have on defense, as well as the chip damage you can get with this deck with just the fire spirit, the goblins, the earthquake, the log. You are always getting damage. It is so hard to stop this deck. It's, it's always getting damage. I love using this deck. Um, this defense, insanely strong. Royal Delivery, insane on defense. Archer Queen, insane on defense. Cannon, Fire Spirit. Goblins, all of these things are great on defense. And Earthquake, really good against Graveyard. You have to take into account, almost in all of your decks, a way to stop Graveyard. Because Graveyard is so strong all the time. Earthquake and Poison, the two best things. Uh, for graveyard as long as like an electro spirit and you've got the log in this as well So if your earthquake doesn't finish off the graveyard in time, you've got a log to finish it off or a royal delivery I mean, oh my god, I love this deck. It is so good against so many decks I think And for the fifth and final deck in case I did not let you guys know earlier These are not in order from worst to best best to worst. They're all like just the best decks It comes down to preference in my opinion, but we've got royal giant lightning yeah there's a lot of royal giant decks that are really good right now but this one's always been around and the reason i recommend this is almost mainly for that reason which is just that its longevity is really good i don't see any of these cars getting a nerf and realistically yeah you could substitute the skeletons for goblins which a lot of people are doing right now but i mean i've just used skeletons in here for the longest time realistically the goblins might be the better play this deck is just unstoppable especially after you get one tower you've got the royal giant on offense with the lightning which is just an insane pair because it kills any building you've got the dark knight as well which is just insanely strong always been a really strong card fisherman and hunter an insane duo and really good on defense as well as the dark knight and the lightning this deck is amazing and the reason i like this deck as well is because not you don't have to be that good to use it i really like barely use this deck but i use it in clan boards and i'm always able to win with it so those are my top five decks right now in clash royale go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think about these decks and other decks that i should have included as well if you guys want to see another video like this giving my top five decks or whatever when the new balance changes come out and all of that stuff go ahead and hit that like button if we can hit 150 likes on this video then i will make sure to do that for you guys Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.